Hello all, this is Ben Falk for KillerSites.com. I wanted to spend some time today discussing JavaScript and PHP based form validation. Specifically, I'd like to cover what it is, why you might want to consider using it, and go over an example that we're going to build showing both JavaScript, in our case we're going to use jQuery, and PHP based form validation. First of all, what is form validation? Form validation is the process of double checking any user input into your form. You make sure that the data that is being entered is valid and in the expected format. Form validation can involve something simple, for example, just making sure that any required fields are filled in, or something potentially more complicated, like checking that the email or phone number is in the correct format. Proper form validation is helpful to everyone involved. It's helpful to you, the programmer, because you can double check your data and make sure that anything being entered into the form is valid and doesn't pose any security risks. It's helpful for the visitor because they can be assured that any data that they're entering into the form is mistake free. It catches basic mistakes, missing forms, incorrectly formatted fields. It's also helpful for the client because they're the one receiving this data from the form and they can be assured that the, any data they're receiving is valid and should be, again, in the correct format. I'm going to be talking about both JavaScript and PHP-based form validation today. JavaScript exists on the client side on the visitor's local computer. It's helpful because it allows them immediate feedback to help them catch errors. However, it can be easily bypassed. A user could easily disable JavaScript and then the form validation would immediately fail. So it is important to have some sort of server-side validation in place as well. In our case, we're going to be using PHP to handle that. Because PHP is handled on the server side, it's out of the control of the visitor, and you can make sure that the visitor can't mess with it in any way. Let me get started by showing you what we're going to be building today. So I'm going to open up Coda. And in this demo, I'm going to be discussing, as I said before, both PHP and JavaScript based form validation. And to do the JavaScript validation, I'm going to be using a plugin for jQuery called Validate. And it's probably the simplest and easiest way I know to add JavaScript validation. This demo will include both JavaScript and PHP based validation. The JavaScript will do most of the heavy lifting. If the JavaScript validation passes, the PHP validation should pass too. However, it is important to remember that you cannot always rely on JavaScript validation to be in place. The user may have disabled JavaScript, either purposely or accidentally, so you can't always guarantee that it's going to be in place. So let me give you a demo here. Um, let's go ahead and enter in name. Um, let me enter in a phone number, but let's say for some reason or another I enter in an extra digit. You notice as I skip to the next line, it generates an error message telling the user exactly what's going on. So I can go ahead and fix that. And in this case, um, it's asking for area code as well. So let me fill that in. There we go. And we can also do the same thing with email. Um, if we enter in an incorrect email, it'll give us an alert. Or if we, for example, leave it blank, it'll also say this field is required. So it catches any required fields and makes sure that, in our case, the phone number and the email field are formatted correctly. Let's get started building this form. First of all, I have Coda open, which is my text editor of choice. And you also need to have something like MAMP or WAMP running, just so you can make sure you can have access to the PHP server. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's get all the various files that we're going to need set up. So I'm going to start with a new file. Um, I'm going to start with the first one. I'm going to call it forum.php. And this is going to hold our main form. I'm also going to include a couple other files. Um, we're going to include jQuery.js, which I'm going to go ahead and download from the jQuery site. So jQuery.com, I'm going to grab the uh, production version, download, 
and simply copy and paste the JavaScript code into my file. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, I'm going to also create validate.js, and this is going to be the JavaScript plugin. This can be found either at docs.jquery.com slash plugins slash validation or on the home page of the developer. In this case, it's bass at um, bassassistance.de slash jquery plugins slash jquery plugin validation. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the um, I'll just grab the minified version of this and again just copy and paste so that's all set um, let's also create a success .php and this is going to be really simple I'm just going to display success message this will be the page that will appear if our form has been able to be submitted correctly. So we have a form, success, a jQuery, and a validate. And I believe that's all that we need to get started. So the last thing I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to open up form.php and I'm going to insert a block of code, which I'll quickly discuss. Here we go. and. I'm just inserting this as a big block rather than typing it out individually because it'll save us a little bit of time. But you may want to pause the video and type everything out or you can download the source files and have direct access to them. So to briefly go over what we just pasted in, it's a pretty basic HTML document. We have our title, we are including the jQuery.js file and the validate.js file that we just created. We have a JavaScript block, doesn't have any code in it just yet. We have a style block, which just includes some basic form styling. So, minor things um, styling the body, the uh, field set in our form, form labels, text areas, etc. And then finally down at the bottom within the body tags we have the actual form. It's made up of labels and inputs. In our case we have name, phone, fax, email, comments, a required fields message, and then finally the submit button. So let me uh, make sure we save this. Let me close untitled here and let's preview our form and see what we have. So there we go. This we'll use as the basis for the rest of this tutorial.